Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a full portfolio website super fast using this cool tool called v0.dev, which was created by Vesel. Here's what we'll do. First, I'll let v0.dev do all the work. I'll just type a simple prompt and provide it with my CV and see what it creates. Then, I'll try something fancy. I'll give it my CV and some design ideas and we'll see how it turns out honestly whether you're making a portfolio for your job freelance work or just for fun this tool is a game changer and hey if you're into quick take hearts or saving time subscribe i share stuff like this every week all right let's get started so head over to v0.dev and this is the website that we're going to use to create our portfolio today. Please take note that it's not only building a portfolio, but you can basically create any website of your choice. So in this case, we are focusing on a portfolio. The first thing that I want to show you is a demo. So let me show you what we can achieve. And maybe if you feel like this is not kind of portfolios that you want, then I'll save you some time. So this is the first portfolio that I created. And remember, I said we just provided a simple prompt and then I provided my CV and it was able to structure this. And I think this is pretty good. And another thing is this is also available in dark mode. And when you click these links, you can uh, pretty much go to the location that you need. So that is interesting. Another important thing is these links are shareable. So basically, this has been deployed to the cloud uh, within Vercel. You can see it's .vercel.app. So this is something you can share to everyone and they'll be able to access your CV. So that's pretty much interesting. The second thing that I built was uh, this portfolio. With this portfolio, I provided the CV once more and then i also provided a design which i'm going to show you in a moment and yeah with a few tricks i was able to come up with this and i feel like this is quite interesting all i need to do is to change basically these images because we used unsplash for these images but this is interesting because you can see that uh, it's it's a single page website and as you're navigating you can see it changes based on uh, the location or the section where you are. So I feel like uh, when you provide a design to it, the results are a little bit close to what you want. So that's something interesting. And like I said, this is something that is shareable. So you can provide, uh, you can share uh, the end result with your friends. So enough of the demonstration let's get in get started and see what you can achieve all right so the first thing that we're going to do is i'm going to provide my cv just go there this is my cv i'm going to paste it inside and then i'm going to say create a full portfolio website for me please use warm colors the reason i'm saying warm colors is because i just want to get the same um the same effect uh, for the demonstration i showed and i'm going to say please make sure okay i'm just going to say make it a single page website make sure the navigations work if there is need to use an image get it from an flash the reason i'm saying this is because v0 uses these uh, press order images and sometimes they're they are not good looking so i just want it to get something from unsplash and i will just also say one thing that can make our website look nice is freeze use design principles from the book refactoring ui so this is just a book but they are good design principles so i'm assuming if it does use principles from this book 
then we'll get a, a more appealing result. So this is all I need for the first project. So let's get started. It may need you to sign up. You just need to sign up and then basically you can start creating your projects. For the free plan, I think they provide enough credits for you to test everything, even create uh, in like working projects, full websites. So try it out. I think uh, it's a good, it's a good application. It's a good project. Let's just wait for it. And the good thing is it has this folder structure created. And at the end of the day, you can export this code, this code structure. It is created with React, I guess. And uh, for the designs, it, use, it uses Tailwind CSS and Shad CN. So basically, sometimes you can see that the designs themselves look a little bit similar because they're using uh, Shad CN theme. So that's about that. Yeah. So it has finished creating our uh, our CV, our portfolio rather. And you can see in terms of the colors, it has used the same colors that um, that you, you saw in the previous project. But yeah, we can maximize it here. And you see it says Gomeziani Walumbe, which is my name. And then it has these sections taking you to different places. I believe they work. Let's see. So now they don't work. But we can make further prompts to make sure this work. So yeah, it says about me, it has added an image. Like we said, if you want to use images, use something from Unsplash. And yeah, we have experience, skills, uh, projects. It has listed the projects, though not all the projects that are in that CV. And then it has listed contact us page. It has uh, this contact us section. We can pretty much go back and forth and say, uh, for example, make sure the navigation work and it's going to fix the navigation. And yeah, I think once once you go back and forth, pretty much it, it starts correcting those issues. And then you can get uh, more of a version that you want. So let's just fix this. And I won't do any fixes after this. We're going to go to our second, our second example and see uh, what we can create or what we can come up with when we use a design. So you can see this. The links are now working. So that's the cool thing about it. To deploy this, all you need to do is click this section and it will deploy uh, for you and give you the link that you can share. So that's simple. We're going to do that in our second project. So to start a new project, I'm going to go here, new, and then I want to upload from my computer. I'm going to upload, well, first of all, these images. I'm going to show you in a moment what these images are. So let's upload them. And then I'm just going to say, clone the screenshots. All right. So let's do that. So it says the images show a modern dark themed portfolio website with a cohesive design featuring gradient accents in a blue and purple. In blue and purple. Let me break down each image. So basically, it has taken those sections and uh, it's trying to create pages for us. So let's just wait and see what we get after it finishes. So if you're wondering where, uh, what the images look like, let me uh, show them to you. So these are images of different sections of the, um, of the web page or of the website. So we, uh, we are looking forward to get something similar to this, but we'll see what it's going to create for us. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look at these guys. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. I like it. All right. You can see this is almost the exact replica of, of what, uh, of what we had in the design. 
So what I'm going to uh, say is, I'm going to uh, get my CV and then say use um, data from this CV. Okay. For the images, you can see that it's just taking the same images that we have provided, but basically we can replace these images. All right. Or oh, the final prompt, we, we just say replace images with maybe images from Unsplash, and it's going to replace all those images. Or once you've downloaded the project, you can replace the images yourself. So that's that's another thing that you can do. Let's just wait for it and see um, how the structure is going to change once it has used my own information. Okay, so the last problem that I'm going to uh, make is make sure you use enough padding within the hello section and also use image and also repress the images with and large images and let's see what what happens otherwise i think i'm liking the end lizard already and yeah that's that's something that i think someone can use and the fact that you can uh, just deploy it right away and use it uh, and share the link is quite amazing It looks like it has completed basically what uh, what we wanted. And okay, let's maximize this. And you can see that there is still some padding issues right here, but this is something we can fix or something that you can tell the AI to fix for you. But otherwise, you can see um, from here, we're supposed to have this image. And if you give it the light, uh, image with the light dimensions then it will uh, fill up a good a good size and uh, you can see the professional summary here is something that I think I like uh, for now the experience as well and then the selected projects we have now the projects and the design of the cards is also like amazing and if we go back to the images that we used you can see it hasn't uh, escaped away very much from the, the design itself. Uh, basically, it's m much more similar. So that's what I had for you guys in this video. But uh, before we leave, I think let's just try to deploy. And it, if you're doing this for the first time, you need to create a project, select the project, confirm and deploy, confirm and deploy and it will deploy uh, this for you. So basically it's on a queue. Now it has deployed. So let's see, where has it deployed this? Um, right here, you can click this and here you can access the deployed website. The links are not working, but these are some things that you can tell the AI to, to fix. What I wanted to show you is that you can pretty much clone an already existing um, an already existing design and then start from there. Uh, you can export this, make a few changes, and then it's ready for you to use. And it has been done in maybe less than uh, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, just imagine the amount of time you can save save for your projects. So until next time, have a great time.